Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to share uh, your control panel uh, access. So uh, if you would like to add uh, a friend uh, to your server so they can access the control panel too, um, then this video is for you. So the first thing you do is uh, log in on the Elixir node on, the, uh, on your account. Then you click on panels, it's uh, on the uh, top right. Uh, then you click on game panel. And you will be brought to this screen. Uh, you will be probably uh, prompt to uh, log in again, so you just do that. Uh, you just click on your server. Um, then you'll have this screen in front of you. You click on users. You click on new user. And you just add your friend's email. Uh, I'll be uh, using a random email right now. So uh, let me just do this really quickly. One of my alt accounts. Uh, Okay, beats Abdul uh, at gmail.com or something. Just do that. Then you just uh, give them access uh, to console start stop restart. Uh, you can make them uh, have uh, different uh, permissions, like create a new sub user for the server. Uh, I don't re recommend this because they can also add other people while you are not there but if you if you have like a very trusted person like a co-owner that uh, needs some devs on your server uh, you can just add this one uh, this one is also a nice one so you uh, have a you can you can see uh, which people have a, a sub user access so they can also uh, add the server uh, allow uh, a user to modify other sub users I wouldn't be recommended this either because uh, you will probably be giving someone uh, access to the server and they can also remove and add more features to other sub users so they can technically grief your server but it's your choice um, you also have a uh, file uh, file uh, permissions uh, also this one uh, I, I would recommend uh, giving this to your uh, to your um, your sub user because they can also add plugins and uh, mods and stuff. Um, backups probably also a good thing because they can't really do anything about it. Uh, allocations permission the controller a user ability to modify the port. Uh, this is a tricky one. I don't know uh, what I should uh, say about this, but it's your choice. You can uh, read this uh, if you want. Also startup, I will recommend this. Uh, and yeah, you have a lot more things and you can invite the user. Um, when uh, you invite the uh, user, they will be prompted with this email. And uh, if they click on the email, they can uh, ha they, they actually got an invite to be a sub user on your server. So uh, they, uh, they can just log on to the server and be a sub user. And that's just how you add a uh, control panel uh, sub-user to your server. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I recommend you using Election Node as a hosting uh, site. Because it's actually amazing and it's cheap. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.